Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now we come to the main point. Now do, you, do the people now, they have the choice of choos choosing the religion of Jesus or the religion of Paul. So which one is it going to be? So before we begin, let me first begin by inter introducing our hosts. All right, over to my left, we have uh, Dr. Naf Fawaz Sha'alan. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing? Alaikum rahmatullah. Yes, and Dr. Welcome. Saoud Fawaz Sha'alan. How are you doing? Alaikum. All right, and uh, for my guest here, uh, mm, I'm Salim, uh, Salim Morgan. Yes, Mashallah. where are you from, Salim? California. California. Abdullah Muslim from New York. Mashallah. Okay. Nice. nice to have you back, Abdullah. Good to be there. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Abu Salman Dioudin Eberly from New York also. Oh, we just keep having all these New Yorkers on the show. Yes. Well, you know, we're, very we're lucky, I guess. <laughs> yes. So now we're hitting the, the conclusive and, point. And yes. You are a Floridian. So. Yes, I am a Floridian. <coughs> so anybody from Florida out there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Don't yes. worry. Yes. <laughs> and we were, we were studying yes, Florida. Yes, exactly. So we are yes. three Floridians now. So, yes, so we have uh, increased yeah. our numbers here. Yes. <laughs> So we just surpassed the, the uh, New, York New Yorkers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the lonely uh, California. Yeah. California yeah. is always yeah. I think we should They're always to cool. The One the is enough. The <laughs> Yankees, this is <laughs> what we used to call them, yes. Yeah. Uh, previously, brother, we have seen what he said about himself in all the letters, Paul. And then we saw the, how he appointed himself as the apostle to the Gentiles. In, in what authority? We saw how he said the same story three times, contradicting each yes. other. But we did not uh, finish to say in the previous episode that a whole religion was created on a story told by the worst enemy of Jesus and the Christians without one single witness to any of the events that he narrated and telling that he was telling about himself that he was a liar yes. and there is nothing good in him and that the sin dwells in him wretched even <laughs> and he's he described himself as wretched and uh, sneaky uh, treacherous and, treacherous and all predictive. these and fools mm. so if somebody bases a whole religion on a story that had no witnesses whatsoever except the culprit himself and the culprit himself declared all these contradictions in the story and he admitted that he was a liar so when we have all these, we put them all together, this is the most dangerous that could ever happen in a religion. Yes. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, brother. In, 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 to put it in context, brothers, it's so important. It's like someone now comes to the strategic wing of the United States Air Force and he gives them red alert orders to send from the missiles in the silos in the air and in the uh, submarines declare full out war on the whole world based on what this guy is saying a vision <laughs> on a vision he says the president ordered me, Came to me he told me this do so. Can you imagine how this is, this is in a sense, it's like creating the biggest earth shaking earthquake through an authority, through a story just like that by, by, by a hearsay without any. Uh, and combine that with the fact that from what we do know, there are huge fundamental differences between what Asa said, what Jesus said, and what Paul said. Now and, we and see yet this whole religion, the exactly. whole entire religion depends on this one man and this one incident. Without this, there is no Christianity. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and he, he, said it, he said it 
We previously we have shown according, he said to, according my to my gospel. gospel. So, yes. uh, so he and, didn't and deny Jesus, it. Didn't he said deny Jesus it. died on the cross according to me. Which so, means so, there are other versions. Exactly. 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 So, the, so that we're going to hear now his version. His as, version and, as opposed and to Jesus', Jesus, and Jesus version. Jesus, yes. Version. Okay. So first of all, Jesus said the most important thing is the Lord. one and only God. 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 Fundamental. Love him with all your heart with all your might. Which and the Jews had always been saying. Exactly. Yes. And, and being a perfect Jew, Jesus, peace be upon him, uttered that twice. Once to the crowd and once when he was tried. And he's, they asked him, what is the most important? He said, the most important is one and only God. Love him with all your heart, with all your might. This is called the Shema, I think? The, 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 the Shema. 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 Yes, Shema. Shema. Yeah. Shema Israel. Elachenu mm. Echad. Yeah. Uh, this which, is which we could yeah. say translate almost exactly as the shahada exactly. of the Muslims. Yes. This is yes. the affinity between exactly. the, the Jewish faith and yes. the Muslim faith yes. that they say there's only one God one and God. you should worship him and only every, with no one else. And yes. every messenger ever said yeah. that. Well, exactly. Of course, exactly. oh, but I'm saying in yeah. terms of what as is a religion, in yes. their, as their religion, yeah. as yes. their yeah. uh, pinnacle and uh, focus of the religion. So this is what Jesus <coughs> said. And uh, Paul said, uh, Trinity. Hmm. And Jesus, uh, secondly, never claimed divinity. And Paul gave him divinity. And then we can go on. The list goes on as it will follow now. For example, Jesus said not to eat meat that is, not, that is sacrificed on idols not to eat it. Paul said you could eat it. Jesus said not to eat blood. Paul said yes. Jesus said not to eat pork. Jesus, uh, yeah. Paul said you could and you should. Jesus was circumcised. Paul said you don't have to circumcise because this will not do anything to Jesus. Paul said that the Pharisees followed the law righteously Jesus said that they lack about the law. Uh, Jesus said salvation initiates and continues by repentance from sin and obedience beside faith. Paul says this is heresy. This is a curse. You don't have to do it's any of the law. Faith yes. alone. Curse. Faith yes. alone, right? Yes, faith, faith alone. alone. Exactly. And the law is a curse. So Living by the law as yeah, we had seen in previous. Exactly, uh, as previously yeah. seen. Jesus tells apostles to teach his commands given prior to his uh, ascension while in the flesh. Paul says not to do so. One by one. Paul says elders are entitled to pay for preaching and teaching, but Jesus says no. Jesus teaches there are only 12 apostles into eternity but Paul adds himself as the 13th <laughs> Paul Unbelievable. that's where 13 is bad luck yes <laughs> exactly <laughs> now, now you now you the pinnacle of the 13 bad luck <laughs> Paul exhorts celibacy but Jesus clearly says it's a choice not within everyone's power Jesus says there is one pastor and teacher himself but Paul says there are many pastors and teachers to give himself a role yes paul says god is the god of the dead but jesus says god is not the god of the dead paul says god does not live in temples made of human hands but jesus says he does jesus says nations of the world are under satan but paul says their rulers are agents of god See? Mm, he wants to appease goes back authority. To the exactly. Thing again. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We said it. That's maybe w that's maybe one of the most dangerous aspects of and his uh, the, absolutely. Uh, the key of to his, his success, brother. And this is where the whole idea of the ruler yes. being the shadow of God on earth and yeah. so on and, and so forth. This is, down this is the where the Pope is picking mm. from yeah. the teachings of Paul, not of Jesus. It, so, it wouldn't yeah. work under Jesus' uh, commands. Exactly. Absolutely. Jesus teaches rapture 
is of evil ones first. Paul teaches the opposite. Jesus says a call is revocable, but Paul says it's irrevocable. irrevocable. Jesus says some are righteous, but Paul says it is impossible. Paul excludes eating with sinners, but Christ's example we are to follow and the lost sheep parable is contrary. Paul teaches we are eternally secure, but Jesus teaches insecurity to a sinning believer. Paul teaches in original sin, but Jesus contradicts. There is no such thing no, as, as... Never spoke of Jesus original. never spoke about the, the original sin. The, the whole original sin, sin concept is created by Paul. By Paul. Yeah. Jesus' command, and this is very, very fundamental, brother, because without the... No, the, no, the uh, no, 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 no original sin, no redemption, no, 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 crucifixion. no, no crucifixion. Therefore, the whole Christianity as it is... Jesus' Paul command is about calling anyone fool is violated by Paul. Paul denies obedience, grants any righteousness into life, but Jesus says it does. Jesus sends the apostles to baptize, but Paul says Jesus did not send him to baptize. Jesus says the merciful receive mercy, but Paul says only those God chooses arbitrarily will receive mercy. Paul says salvation does not depend upon exertion, but Jesus says it does. Paul says he could be justified of the sin that never could be justified under the law given Moses blasphemy, but Jesus says that the contrary, that it is the unpardonable. And Paul says, flesh will not inherit the kingdom of God, but Jesus in flesh ascended to heaven and promised to uh, resurrect our bodies to heaven, giving us the same physical uh, resurrection that Jesus had. Which is a fundamental belief in Islam. Exactly. That Jesus in flesh yeah. ascended to heaven and we shall follow suit on the day of judgment, we will ascend in, in flesh to the left. They contradicted on the time of the coming of the Lord. I'm, go I'm, I'm going to give references. I think, is, is it, are we close to the... Oh, yeah. uh, Paul says, for example, in Romans 13, 12. How dare him. Contradicting Jesus saying in Luke 21, 8. This is about the coming of the Lord. On the source of the truth and the true gospel, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 2, 13, and Galatians, 1 Galatians 12, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in John 17, 14, and 17. Wow. On the God of the dead, Paul says in Romans 14, 9, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said on Luke 20, 38. I'm giving references because so we don't have... Uh, what, uh, yeah, what said yeah uh, people could, uh, could, uh, could uh, check it uh, later. Uh, on, the sum of the, on the sum of the commandments, Paul says on Romans 13, 9, the opposite of what Jesus says in Matthew 22, chapter 22, verse 37, 38, 39, and 40. On whom God has mercy, Paul says in Romans 9, 15, 16, 18, the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 5, 7. On forgiveness of trespasses, Paul says in Ephesians, first Ephesians, uh, 7 and Rome, the letters to Rome 425, exactly the opposite of what uh, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, 14, 15. On being justified, Paul says, Roman 
chapter 3, 24 and 28, and Romans 5, uh, verse 9, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 12, 37. On the cost of eternal life, Paul says in the letter to the Romans 6, 23, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 19, 29, Luke 14, 28, 33. Uh, on what is honorable among men, Paul says in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 21, and the letter to the Romans, chapter 12, 17, and letter to the Romans, chapter uh, 14, 18, and 1 Corinthians 10, 33, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in Luke 16, 5, and Luke 6, 26. On dying, Paul says in the first Corinthians, chapter 15, 31, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in John 11, 26. On the basis of judgment, Paul says in Roman chapter 2, 12, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said on chapter 12, 48. <clears throat> on the commandments and eternal life, letters to the Roman, Paul said, chapter 7, 9 and 10, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 19, 17. On, the father, on your father, Paul says, in the first Corinthians, chapter 4, 15, and the Ephesians 1, 10, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 23, 9. So it sounds like uh, two different religions. Here. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> for Paul, on, 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 on qualifying for eternal life. That's the 14th point. Paul says in Romans 5, 21, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said mm. in John 5, 24. Uh, on the destiny of the creation, heaven, in earth, Paul says in the letter to the Romans 8.21, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 24, 35. Okay, hold a, hold the rest until after the break, because yes. well, I'm, even I think we're on, all on information overload right absolutely, now. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so please return, and we'll have some more, I guess, uh, contradictions for you. Yes, okay, thank you. Welcome back. And uh, we stopped off with uh, over here with Dr. Naif, and you're giving us some interesting, very, very interesting information. Uh, Brother, so far we, we, we have sh shown at least 50 different contradictions between yes. what Jesus said and what Paul said. Point and what the per religion, point. Yeah, what issue the per issue. Issue per issue and with references, uh, what Jesus said and what Paul said. And these, these references, by the way, our spectators, what he's referring to, they will be shown uh, one by one as he would he is mentioning them on your screen so please follow them and if, read them and for those who uh, see it uh, on the internet the reason, the reason I'm, I'm just giving the references and not the content because otherwise we're going to need at least four or five episodes yes. to, but they to, will be posted they will but they, posted, we, yeah. they will they will see them yes. so they will see them one by one as they are mentioned yeah, we, by, we advise by that, uh, please viewers go go search this absolutely research this for yourself for example yeah. uh, on the on destiny. the destiny of the law uh, and the prophets paul says in the letter to the romans chapter 10 4 exactly the opposite of what jesus said in matthew chapter 5 17 and 18 on the number and identity of teachers Paul says in 1st Corinthians 12 28 and Ephesians 4 11 and 1st Timothy 2nd 7 and 2nd Timothy 1 11 exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 23 8 on the number to be saved Paul says in the letter to the Romans 11:25 and 26 exactly the opposite of what Jesus said 
in Matthew 7, chapter 7, 13, 14. On the number and identity of pastors, shepherds, Paul says in Ephesians 4, 11, the opposite of what Jesus said in John 10, 16. On the number and identity of leaders, Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 4, 15, the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 23, 10. On total, the privacy, Paul says in the letter of, to the Romans, chapter 3, 9, 10, 22 and 23, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12, 35, in Luke 6, 45, in Matthew 23, 35. On unconditional election, Paul says in letter to the Romans 9, 16, exactly of the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew 7, 21 and 22. On the sacrifices to God, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 5, 7 and Ephesians 5, 2, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said on Matthew 9, 13. On the remuneration for preaching the gospel, Paul says 1 Timothy 5, 17 and 18 and 1 Corinthians 9, 11 and 12, the opposite of what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, 7 and 8. On how one becomes a child of God, Paul says in the letters to the Romans 8, 23 and Galatians chapter 4, 5, exactly the opposite of what Jesus said in John 3, chapter 3, 3, 6, and 7. So, we see now at least 60 different places of major differences between the message of Jesus and the message of Paul. Yes. Now, 60, that's, a, that's quite a hefty load. Now, yeah. point per point, mm. after seeing what he said about himself in describing himself as being a liar and uh, a fool and uh, all these uh, things that he gave to himself. After seeing the contradictions and how he appointed himself as an apostle without seeing Jesus, without having any witnesses on a imaginary uh, vision that he supposedly had and narrating it in three w different without ways. A direct contact to the surrounding of Jesus, including his disciples yep. or even his milieu. No, as a matter him. of fact, hmm? uh, 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 Brother mm -hmm. uh, Salman just mentioned uh, before uh, that when he went into Jerusalem and he had contact with the true disciples of Jesus, they there was right a away. clash immediately mm -hmm. yeah. and, and he, he had away. to run away. Because they were going to... So in the first test he he was of blaspheming. the genuine... He exactly. Was he was blaspheming. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And then when one of them accompanied him in his trip to the Gentiles, yep. meaning Barnabas, Barnabas yeah. yeah, also they had a clash and then they parted. Mm -hmm. And also he had a clash with Peter also and they parted. And this is when he started warning people about other Gospels, correct? Yes. And he said, you only need mine. Don't exactly. listen to anyone That's else. That's why according to my Gospel. Exactly. So all he's hey. referring to his Even Gospel. Even though now in our hands there is no Gospel called the Gospel of Paul. Paul. But in reality, what, it, what he means are the four Gospels are his. <laughs> because these are disciples of him that wrote these Gospels. And I believe because the first three of the Gospels, meaning Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they call them the Synoptic yes. Gospels. Why do they call them Synoptic? Synoptic, that means similar. Mm -hmm. right. Because there are passages that all three have to the letter. Almost, يعني, in our terms, cut and paste. Cut and, it is, not well, almost, plagiarism. it is. Yeah. It, <laughs> is <laughs> it is plagiarism. plagiarism yeah. yes, as a <laughs> but in reality, the scholars of the Bible, 
the modern scholars of the Bible. It started critical in Germany yeah, and thinking. in the United States, the critical thinkers and what they call the, uh, the textual criticism mm -hmm. because they created a whole uh, venue in scholarship called textual criticism. In textual criticism, they found that all three were based on something, something before Maybe. them. They called it Q or they call it Quelle in German. Uh, and that this was the one that they based their three Gospels on it. I believe it could have been the Gospel of Paul. But, the, but it's contradicting the letters of Paul. It Obviously, is contradicting the uh, letters of Paul. It has, it has some of it, traces some of, of truth. It. Some of it, yeah. 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 Some of it yeah. has the traces of truth. I think yeah. if we look at this yeah. from the, the way we look at texts in Islam, yeah. I think we could say that the best thing they had was a collection of weak hadith, which is the Q document. Yes. All right. Then you had Paul, who was just a heretic, heretic, and he was way off the scale, and he just wrote whatever he wanted to write. And then the, whoever wrote these four Gospels, and we don't know who they are, they drew from this collection of hearsay, weak, weak collection hadith. of very weak hadith, and they uh, embellished Brother, it I in their I own way. I could say it's even worse than that. It's, it's like the Shia did, mm. where they invented their own hadith yes, yes, yes. to justify But my point is, Paul, Paul does not even claim to take from any kind no, of no, narration. Because no, 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 no. he got it That's directly. Right. He got it directly. Yes. Well, yes. indirectly because in one story, yeah. indirectly yeah. in another. Somehow. So please. Yeah. With no witnesses. Take like it was, with a he grain was, of salt, he, I guess. He was, these he, stories. he was full of the Holy Spirit. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Oh, that's a, the, that's the Holy Spirit uh, liked him so much that he started giving him the opposite yeah. of what he gave Whole new to message. Jesus, peace yeah. be upon him. Yes. To create. So uh, he confused them in order to confuse others. So I guess it's... <laughs> I mean, the real test, but he failed it, right? The real yeah, test was uh, when he went to the Brothers, apostles. we are joking now, but really it's so serious and yes, so dangerous is. in the sense that imagine with all these contradictories, tit for ta, subject per subject, Brother, I'm still gonna, yeah, now overrode I'm gonna, now the message. I showed the difference and the contradiction between what Jesus mm -hmm. taught and what Paul, Paul taught. Now, let's okay. see what Jesus taught and what we Muslims believe in. Uh, I'm going to conclude uh, with that. Jesus taught one God and we believe like Jesus, one exactly. God. So yes. let's see who's following Jesus. Jesus was circumcised. We are circumcised like Jesus. So we are following Jesus. Jesus said not to eat pork. Uh, 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 pork. We don't eat pork like Jesus. Jesus says not to eat anything that is slaughtered uh, other than idol. the name of God or on idols. We do exactly what Jesus said and we don't eat that meat. Jesus taught that you should adhere to the law, to the Sharia, and we adhere to the law like Jesus said. Jesus prayed to his creator. We pray to the creator of Jesus exactly in the manner that Jesus did by prostrating and touching our forehead to the ground as Jesus did. Showed it and demonstrated. So in reality, Jesus also very importantly said that uh, he, he is sent by God in several mess messages where, he's where, where he said explicitly, that, explicitly saying, saying, saying that he's the messenger of God. By my God. And we say that he is the messenger of God, as head. Jesus as, as said. Commanded. And so, in other words, we Muslims are the true followers, followers. of Jesus. Jesus. So I uh, beg our viewers, after what we have said about Paul, and after what we have shown, shown the contradiction with Jesus' teachings, we have chosen to follow Jesus, peace be upon him, and you followed Paul. Paul. So which is the true adept? Which is the true follower of Jesus? Obviously, we can clearly say that we are the true followers of Jesus. So it's and not we, a claim, invite, it and we invite you to follow 
Jesus as we did and leave Paul behind as we so, did. So it's not a claim that we are uh, uh, claiming nowadays, but it is a fact as based on what we've seen yes. point per point. So and I hope in other is. words, we are following Jesus and we invite you to follow Jesus. Please follow Jesus like us and leave Paul behind like we did. And if you want to learn the truth about Jesus, you can find it in the Quran and the, and Quran. the other authentic texts coming Absolutely. from the last message. And, uh, Thank Dr. you. Dr. Naif, I really hope they accept that invitation. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to thank the, our hosts, our guests, and you, the viewers. Please come back for more truth on Cosmic Proofs. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.